And so, the folks at 3D.io has just recently released Paka.io. This is a free standalone UV tool that allows you to take advantage of its automated system to manage your UVs based on the technology of the folks at the 3D.io's free UV plugins. And of course, this is now available for everyone as it is totally free, which simply means that you can use it for anything you want. The folks at 3D.io has also mentioned that Paka.io is available to everyone to do with whatever they please. So whether you're trying to use this for commercial or personal project you can simply go ahead and check it out and for those who like to download this you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can download this for both windows and mac and start creating your beautiful stuff the cool thing with the paka io is this that you can automate work easily this has an intuitive uv management tool and it simply guarantees very cool quality and reduces that drag time that you have to spend when managing your uvs instead of dealing with uv clusters you can now automate this process and get done with it this also has a couple of interesting plugins which you can download and work with and these plugins like we mentioned earlier are totally free so whether you want to get the ones for blender 3d studio max unreal engine then you can of course go ahead and check it out and today we're going to dive right in and explore this beautiful tool especially if you want to get it and see what and what you can get out of it so with Paka IO simply opened right here what you get is this simple stuff so you can choose to drag and drop a file in and this supports like a huge set of files so whether you're working with obj fbx glb files you can simply work with them so what i'm going to do is just drag and drop a file in here so this file that we're working with is gotten off sketchfab and a huge shout out to the creator for this i'm going to link this in the description as well and what you have is pretty simple so like we mentioned earlier this is a packing tool and this is definitely going to be super useful for those who have already cut their uvs or probably you know you've just done a haphazard job at cutting your uvs and you just don't want to spend that time packing it so what you can do with this is simple so with everything here we can simply click on the word pack and this would automatically pack it if we would like to do a full rotation of this pack which adds a 180 degrees rotation to an angle we can do that as well so we can pack this as much as we want we can also choose to play with the rescaling so maybe we want some things not to rescale we can do that if we like to play with the combine as well we can also do that too so this is beautiful the same thing can be said for the padding so probably we want to get a padding of let's say three let's actually go in and dial these all the way down all right so let's say we want to get a padding of three we can click and automatically we're also getting that and in terms of sizes as well say for example to each uv tiles you want them to be 1024 or probably 512 or maybe you want to max it all the way out to 248 you can also do that so you do have options of doing this so we go in and say we want this to be 248 and we can simply click and this becomes a 2k uv tile and another interesting thing that you can now do with this despite the fact that you can do all of that is packing this based off a uv tile so let's say for example we have this beautiful piece and for this particular piece that we have here we want all of these to exist as a udim what we can do is to go over to tile uvs and we can choose how much of a udim we want so we could do like a 2x2 or we could do a 3x3 or maybe a 4x4 and once we have that we can click on the word pack and automatically we have it so in this case you can now create independent tiles for different objects and the more packings you click the more variations you get there's also a couple of options and menu sets that exist here so if you click on the plus button you can go in and import something else and if you want to deal with the looks you can so you can also go over to the looks section and there's a couple of looks you can you know play with this and see how things would look like so again if we would like to scale this all the way up and click on the word pack and we have that this is set to 2k if we would like to scale this all the way to 4k which i believe should be 4096 we can also go ahead and scale this all the way up we can do the same uv thing that we did say we like this one two by one and we're going to have two different stuff we can flip between the uv or the 3d model and this way we can now see what we have right here now in this situation if you also want to play with the looks some more you can of course go ahead and do it and the tiling can also be controlled from here this is just one useful tool i believe a lot of people can take advantage of especially if you're into uvs and probably you get to work with multiple uvs and you don't want to deal with the whole idea of cutting these uvs and then tiling them and packing them you need a tool to actually get this things going you can just simply focus on cutting the uvs however you choose and then come over to an app like this 
and get it arranged properly the way it should. There's also a manager tool that exists here. And for UI, there's also the dark and the light UI. So this is something I wouldn't recommend, but the dark one looks pretty cool. There's also, again, some navigation styles. Depending on what you want to do, you do have these things here. And once you're ready, you can proceed to export your file by hitting Ctrl and S on the keyboard, S on the keyboard, and you can export the file with the UV tiles that you've just created. So from simple to complex, models, the Packer IO seems to be an amazing tool for allowing and helping artists pack their UVs with a single click without the hassles of dialing several buttons and dealing with so much technicalities. So this is it, amazing things from the folks at UV Packer and of course if you like to get this and probably you want to start playing with it then you can simply go over to the link in the description and check it out. It is quite impressive to see that this is available for Windows and also for Mac and by every means if you need the Blender, Unreal Engine or 3D Studio Max plugin you can go ahead and grab this. In terms of the payment, the payment for these is totally free. Like we mentioned earlier, you can use this for literally anything you want, both commercial and also personal. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at UV Packer for making this possible. And if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.